Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be trying to sort out my uh, little laundry room, kind of organise it, clean it and all the kind of like go through all the sprays and everything, make sure everything's actually like there's no empties in there and stuff like that so I'm really trying to organise it today. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm not buying any new organisers because I just don't think it needs it. Um, I'm just maybe trying to maybe try and use space better. I don't know. I'll see. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I and yeah, I don't know if I don't know how anybody else organises their stuff. I know people like use under under the sink storage. I'm lucky enough to have this extra cupboard, which is great because then I can keep it all out of Oliver's reach. But yeah, so I don't know how you organise things, where you put things like um, medications and tablets and uh, plasters and stuff like that. Do you have like a special cupboard for that or does it all just kind of everything get mixed into one place? I don't know. So all ours is in one kind of area. So that's why I'm just going to try and organise it because things are a little bit out of, out just, they just, it's just a mess. So I'll show you first. I apologise, I've got the washing machine going and the dishwasher in one go because you know we just got got to get things done um so i apologize for background noise but i'll show you what we're dealing with and then we can get to organizing so again i'm going to apologize the washing machine is going so i apologize um so obviously i've got laundry in here i need to do a whitewash but then i also need to do like a towel and a cleaning the cloth wash um so up here is okay it just needs cleaning so this obviously has got the dishwasher tablets in and that's fine that's good to sit there obviously pegs this needs tidying because it's got socks for like you know the jump packs and stuff the trampoline packs so they're, they're in there don't know why they could go under the stairs and then i've got the dryer balls which is fine but then also like my tea towels which is unorganized so i need to kind of fix that um, this needs emptying because I've just been doing some cleaning. So this needs emptying and then these three things sit in there. That needs a home. That needs to go into the garage. And then we've got the cupboard. So none of this is in any kind of format. I keep scrambling around to find things. I'm really, really sorry about the noise, honestly. If it's that bad, I'll fix it somehow. Um, and so then I've got towel cleaning cloths here, but then this falls on it all the time. Stain remover and some other bits here that I use for the laundry. So I might pull those out and put them in here or put them together here somehow. I don't know. And then we've got all these different kind of tablets and um, medically things like bandages and Oliver things and vitamins. I've got some more cleaning things here, repeat prescriptions, they could probably go somewhere a bit safer. Some more cleaning stuff there, water cartridges, the sofa cleaner, more things there, dry shampoo because I always dry shampoo my hair outside because it creates too much of a puffy smoke inside and then we've got extra back stocky things there. So that's what we're working with, let's see what we can do. I was facing all the sunlight while our feet swung freely from the bridge. The bridge, you asked if I'd save you. You are the one I can tell that you've been through some 
We were walking on the sidewalk And we bumped into this person that I some extra like containers and stuff so i'm gonna see if these are any good to use for some of the things um just to try and make the most of the being able to pull out stuff um i've got another one there that might work too so at least i've got three we've also got like these wire baskets so i think if i can use the the only problem is all the sprays are tall, so I don't think that's going to work. But I, at least I know I've got them. Just trying to make sure there's nothing else in here that I think is going to be worth using. I don't think so. Everything else is going to be too tall. So I think we'll try these first. This weight on my shoulder is slowing me down I don't know how it came about And while the world is spinning faster every night I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here No one to blame this on, feeling so hopeless I keep on pouring salt on
So I realised that well, the not the last song I've just had on, but the one before is called Like a Blind Girl's Dog. Yeah, I don't know if that's offensive or what. Uh, I apologise if it is. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, I really struggle to kind of work out what would go in this basket, if anything, or if I even needed the basket. So I was trying really hard to think about what worked well together. I was trying to kind of create some sort of like system because when the containers, like the bottles, are just in the cupboard, they all kind of just end up getting mixed up together anyway because there's no series, like channel for them to sit in. So that's what I wanted to use the uh, long containers for, but they were too long for the cupboard, so I couldn't use them. And the baskets were the next best thing I could use. So I've still had to have quite a lot of the bottles and sprays loose, but I'm hoping over time, because some of those need using up, which I plan to do. So hopefully once we kind of get rid of a few, it becomes less chaotic. I'm hoping so. We'll never know until it gets to it. Um, and then obviously there's certain things that we don't use a lot at all. We very rarely go for these things, but when we do need them, we're going to need them. And these are things that I could store in the garage, but I think everything ends up in the garage and it's kind of getting a lot messier. So if I've got the space inside to just kind of store it neatly and know where it is, I don't have to spend hours looking for it, then I'm going to do that and save myself a lot of like time. Um, and yeah, so then I managed to get onto the like medicine tablet, mm, vitamin side of things and get that organised because that had got out of control as well, surprisingly. So yeah, I started trying to, so I put things into like, painkillers so I had like ibuprofen and paracetamol in a box um and then I had a box for Oliver which is like Calpol and um baby friendly cough syrup and things that are just like specifically for him because obviously he can't just have any old cough syrup he's got he's got to have baby cough syrup so there's stuff like that that I tried to keep separate for him and obviously the 5,000 Calpol syringes that you end up with went in there um, I had a section for cold and flu um, because, you know, you live in the UK. That's something that happens to you fairly frequently. I had one for like big bottles of things like and then um, that were more, mainly like cough syrup for us and like gummy vitamin things. I had one for um, what would it like plasters and um, first aidy stuff. I had a a bit of an odd one that had kind of like so when I was first um when Oliver was first born I sprained my thumb like the joint from my hand to my thumb I sprained sprained both of them from the action of picking Oliver up so he his arm would sit between my thumb and my first finger if that makes sense um I sprained them both so I found it really painful, so I ended up scooping him a different way. And I ended up going to the doctors, and I was like, this is really weird. Um, and they say it's common, but every person I spoke to was like, uh, no, that's no, that's just weird. So, yes, that was a thing. So I had some um, braces for them, for my hands, and I've kept hold of them just in case anything kind of like happens in that aspect again. Um so we've got those in a container along with some other things like glasses wipes and stuff that we use but we don't use a lot um but obviously certain things there's no point in getting rid of it because when you do need it you don't want to have to go and buy it again so and none of these things go off so it's not like they're out of date so it's just a matter of storing them correctly um and then we had other like tablet stuff so we had like some pyrites vitamins um Gas Gaviscon, that sort of thing, kind of went in together because they were like things that you're going to use but you don't use frequently kind of thing. Everything seems to be something that you use but you don't use frequently. Um, so they kind of went in the container and then I managed to get certain things to stack in a certain way and, yeah, it was good. And then I also found stuff that were like... I found wound spray. didn't even know we had any wound spray, but we have it. And now it's in the container. Um, so yeah, found some stuff that was out of date, which was great. Found some stuff that we didn't need, got rid of that. Um, like that Infocol that I've got there, still in date, so I kept hold of it, but the likelihood of us needing it 
is very low but that time you need something you know that you've thrown it away you kick yourself anybody else do that just me okay fine but yes so there's certain things that we didn't need anymore and they just kind of needed organizing a little bit better um so it felt good it felt good to get that organized and done um and clear some space be able to see what we've got where and because I kept going into the wrong container for paracetamol I kept going into a completely different container but that's because we're paracetamol in two different containers which we didn't need so yeah it was good to get it kind of refreshed clean sorted um just so then you know it's nice to go back through your spaces every so often I saw a thing from the home edit actually and they were saying about like um people that like to organize but once they've organized the space they don't have to re- ever reorganize it whereas I actually want to do that all the time I will find a space and I think oh I'd love to just reorganize this again because I had so much fun organizing it in the first place um so that maybe yeah but this was easy really simple there was no real challenge to it um these containers I have linked them in the description because they are fantastic um, they do stack so you can keep stacking on them so they can stack as high as you can go kind of thing um, I just do too high obviously because that's what fits in our cupboard but yeah they're really good we found them on Cora found them on Amazon um, and they've just been a bit of a game changer for us for all that area and obviously they've been clear so you can kind of see what's in them I didn't bother labeling anything because it just kind of seemed a bit pointless but that sounds quite fun now I have to go back and label them oh yay um because you can see in them you don't need to basically um so yeah that was that
again, apologies, noise. So, because I've been trying to use this more on the sofa, I've moved it down. All the tablets and medication and stuff still there. I've just decluttered some that are out of date and everything else. Move the spare hand washes up here because we're full on hand wash so we don't need refilling anytime soon. We've got some back stock up there that's not needed. These two I don't need to get to very often so when I do I'll just pull the chair out and get to them. Same with the water filters. So then we've come down and I've organised these a bit better into like, so I've got like carpet cleaners, um, bathroom things and then the um, glass spray which is something I use more. Um, and then normal sprays, air freshener, and then I've got some backup sprays there. And then these are things that I rarely, rarely use. These I've put at the front because I need to use the last of it to get rid of it. Um, and then the other stuff behind is like white vinegar and Milton spray, which I never really use. So they're there. And then I've got the cloths here. And then these are other things like, so I've got like the elbow grease, which I use sometimes on the hob. These are for the bathroom. The descaler that I don't ever I've not used, um, dishwasher stuff, and then like little things like this that are like they get they kept getting lost in the bottles and stuff. So I've moved them into the basket because I can see them better, and then I've still managed to put my stain remover and stuff here. So this is stuff for the bin. They're gonna go back in there. I think I'm still gonna just put that in here somewhere because it's gonna be used soon. This is a label maker that's going to go into the garage. And then I just need to figure out where I'm going to put my brush and then tidy all this up. I think I might just quickly go through this cupboard because it's a bit of a mess. So I'm going to do that now. I am so good at pretending Keep on smiling in my tiny bubble like a movie without ending Spending time like it was going backwards This is covering the walls but they fall down Diving deeper than the books that we read blind Breathing in and breathing out to get smarter uh, Not working out for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I refolded all my um, lovely little waffle 
um, what do you call them? Tea towels. Um, they're not in the best condition, any of the tea towels, because they end up just getting used for everything and nothing, because we don't use kitchen roll. But here's a final look at everything. So I took that um, container out and just the basket and just put everything in there. That's a work in progress. Um, the dry balls and obviously the, the things, the socks have gone now, the housekeeping little box is done. And then the cupboard is nice and organised. So I think it'll be a lot easier to get to things now, maybe a lot clearer to see everything. So I'm pleased. So thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it was a quick um, organised, but it was definitely worth doing. I found some stuff that was out of date. I found some things that were like em almost empty bottles so I could put them to use first so they can get used up and gone. Um, so it was definitely worth doing. I'm glad I took the time to do it. It didn't take me long, maybe like just short of an hour. And um, yeah, so I feel better. I feel like I can go in there and get everything that I need when I'm cleaning or for medically kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I just feel better for doing it. Let me know in the comments below how you organize your cleaning stuff. Do you do it by like room type, spray, floor stuff like, how do you organise it? Do you organise it? Let me know in the comments. But thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest videos. And I will see you again soon. Bye.